Hello everyone, welcome back to some main assembly. Don't fall asleep, little robot. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can convert any 3D model into a schematic for main assembly. So over here you can see this is the Blender Monkey, Suzanne. An entire 3D model uh, converted into the chassis for your robot. Now this thing is just a very simple tool. It's not going to include any of your seats, wheels, or thrusters, or any hinges or anything. And it's not exactly super useful. I'm doing a great job of selling this tool to you guys, right? It's not exactly super useful though, but it is, uh, it is a little bit interesting. So let me show you another example real quick. Uh, we have a deer. It is a, <laughs> it's, it's a gigantic deer. Uh, the, the scaling is a little bit off, but you know what? That's okay. Just a gigantic deer. So it's not exactly super useful to convert 3D models for main assembly. Uh, but it does give you a great starting point to work from. So let me go ahead and show you another example that I did a, a long time ago. This, I call just the, the little car, little car. Because, oh, the colors changed. So believe it or not, this was actually started out as a 3D model. Uh, you can see it's just a very simple, very polygonal little car. And this is actually a free 3D model that you can find on the internet. So I went ahead and I worked with the 3D model a little bit. I kind of removed the, uh, I think the grill. I removed the wheels because the wheels were part of the 3D model, so the game has wheels that fit perfectly with this 3D model. So if you can find a good 3D model to import into the game, it can give you some amazing results. Alright, so this is an example of a 3D model uh, for a Lamborghini, and I tried to add some wheels to it, but uh, I think the wheels are just a little bit too small, or the scale of this model is a little bit too big. And as you can see, it, it, de it definitely has a hit on performance as well, so but we can go ahead and print this. It's just... <laughs> I forgot I put thrusters in this thing. It's just a giant, giant Lamborghini. The wheels do not match. All right, all right, let's go ahead and hit this deer. All right. So while it might be a cool thing to import 3D models, it's not exactly a good thing. This was my attempt at remaking a Lamborghini in the game with a fewer panels, and I just started... Uh, I just worked from like picture references and um, it's not it's not exactly Lamborghini but hey using much fewer panels I got much better performance out of it and it's proportional to the wheels available in the game so sometimes it's just better to build what you want in the game rather than import a 3d model of it so that's just something to keep in mind uh, now let's just go ahead and get started and show you how to do this okay so this is actually a tool that I made and I have it available on my website giraffe.com it is a brand new website, so there's really nothing there right now except for this uh, nice little picture. But if you go over to Tools, Scripts and Tools, you're going to see there's a section for Scrap Mechanic and there's a section for Main Assembly. You're going to click on that OBJ2 Schematic, and that takes you to the OBJ2 Main Assembly Schematic tool. So we're just going to set this aside for now. Now over here I have a folder full of free OBJ files downloaded from the internet. There's all sorts of things on here. Uh, but one thing in particular that I want to try out, this was actually taken from Scrap Mechanic. Uh, so this is actually the glow worm from Scrap Mechanic. And I want to try converting this into a schematic for main assembly. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually open up your 3D model in a 3D modeling program to make sure it's all good. Scale up this model uh, so that one of the smallest edges is probably equal to one of these grid squares that you see in your 3D modeling program. Uh, so you just go ahead and scale it way up. Just scale it way up. Now the next thing you're going to want to make sure of is that this model has triangles only. You can export a 3D model with squares, with, with square polygons, but it's significantly better if you do it with triangles and definitely not any pentagons, hexagons, or any other face with more than four edges. So if you want to, you can select your model in face mode and choose tessellate and that will triangulate all of the faces and make sure the faces are split up with three edges for each one. That way you don't run into any glitches with the game. In this modeling program, you'll notice the Y axis is up, uh, the Z axis is forward, and the X axis is sideways. So when you go ahead and you export this 3D model, uh, you're gonna wanna swap the Y and Z axis because main assembly, Z is up, not Y. So when you export it, just make sure that's swapped or you can rotate your model before exporting. It doesn't really matter what you do, as long as Z is the up axis in main assembly. So over here, I have the processedglowboy.obj. This is an OBJ file that I know for sure is gonna work with this tool, not just any old downloaded model off the internet that might have some issues with it. Uh, this, for sure, I know is gonna work perfectly. So let's go ahead and uh, toss this in here. So over here, you're gonna see the source code for your OBJ file. It's um, 
if you know what's going on in this file, then sometimes it's a useful thing to take a look at this to see, to make sure that there's no sub meshes or anything hidden inside your OBJ file. You want it to be all one sub mesh. Don't worry about it too much if you don't know what it means. The next setting over here is scale to use and the default is 10. And that is uh, just a just an assumption that if you did the same thing that I did in my modeling program, trying to scale your model to be, uh, you know, around that grid size of one, uh, scaling it up 10 times more than that generally makes it a good size in game. And that's also why that converted Lamborghini model that you saw earlier was massive, uh, because to get all the detail to work properly in the game, it actually has to be a large scale. If you scale it too small, some of the points might merge into the same location and then it's not going to work properly. Or your model is going to turn out looking very different than what you thought it was. So the next setting here says build schematic with frames, lower FPS. And when I had it working, it would build the chassis with the frames and the panels, and it did lower FPS significantly. So generally that's not a good thing. And besides, you can also add frames back in manually in the game as well, if you really wanted to. Also, it does say that it's not working, must fix, don't use. So the last time I tried it, it just straight up crashed my game, or I think the, the bot didn't load or something, something bad happened. So until I can actually fix this, probably, probably just stick to building your frames in game. And this setting here says round vertices to nearest unit after the scale is applied. Uh, so after we're scaling it up 10 times, any decimal numbers are just going to be rounded to the nearest whole number. I think that just helps the performance of the game a little bit, but if you leave it unchecked, I'm not sure if the decimal points actually work in the game. I think they do, and it actually helps get your models on a smaller scale, still looking very accurate. Although you won't be able to actually edit any of these vertices in-game to these small scales. And the color palette should just be an obvious thing. Uh, what is this? This is a glow boy. So we're going to choose the sort of green color. It's mostly green and yellow. There's a little bit of red spots here and there, but so anyway, once you're done, uh, once you're done choosing all your settings, uh, just click do the thing and it will spit out this. This is a, this is a text area that you can just copy everything in here and paste into whatever schematic file you want. Or if you want to just download a schematic file JSON to work from, that can be a little bit easier for you. Uh, so now from here, I'm going to show you this folder, you actually want to go to your app data folder, local, robo build, saved, bots, and then inside your bots folder, you can create any number of folders that you want. I created one called OBJs. I have a lot of folders in there, all my bots are in there, but I just created a folder. I created lots of folders, like the little cars folder, but I created a new folder just for this video, OBJs. So this is the folder, this is the folder right here where all of my bots will be available in game. It doesn't really matter what bot you copy. Uh, you can do this with any of your saved bots. Copy it, paste it, so you're just duplicating it. Now you're gonna rename the section after bot to be the name of your bot. So this is gonna be Glowboy underscore OBJ. So now you have a new bot folder named bot.glowboy underscore OBJ. Gonna go in there, you're gonna take this file, you're gonna rename it to your bot's name dot schematic dot JSON. Now you can go ahead and just open that schematic dot JSON and now you can see it looks very similar. Just go ahead and copy all the code and paste in all the code, save the file and you're good to go. That's it. This folder with this file being in your bots folder, it's already available in game. Check it out. Let's go ahead into build mode. Get rid of this, uh, get rid of this Lambo remake. Bots, go to OBJ's folder right here. There's the glow boy. What does it look like? What does it look like? Load. Oh my goodness. He's a big boy. It's killing my FPS just a little bit, but he's a big boy. This is kind of a bigger model. I shouldn't have, you really got to find those low resolution, low poly models. Uh, but as you can see, like it turned out, it turned out all right, I guess. Turned out all right. So let's print it get those frames back there we go and look at that look at that we got a giant glow boy in the game uh yeah let's just go ahead and paint the entire thing that neon oh that's so bright oh i chose such a bright color let's change that and then from there you can you know take the time to paint your model adjust it how you want in game you know put some whatever wheels on it thrusters whatever you want to make it do maybe you want to make a flying glow worm you can there you go and then all this around here is yellow. I'm just sitting here painting a 3D model in a virtual world. How is this fun for me? But let's go ahead and show you with another 3D model. Again, the entire process start to finish. Let's go ahead and show you how it's done. Onto the desktop. We'll go back to the, just refresh the tool every time you want to use it. Make sure you're on this page where you see the file selection menu. Here we go. Let's see if I can use this. I'm going to show you guys how to do a car to really show you guys what this tool is capable of. 
So you're gonna go ahead and start by importing your 3D model. You have to make sure it's proper for the tool to work with or else it's not gonna work in game. Why are the wheels inside out? Oh, and look, you can already tell, you can already tell this 3D model is in pieces, uh, which is not exactly a good thing. So let's go ahead and select everything. Uh, we're gonna choose just, we're gonna choose just the car body, just the car frame. And that's all we're gonna be importing because I can recreate the windows in game. I can recreate the bumpers, the lights and the wheels. I'm gonna be using the game's wheels. So, so this is actually perfect. This is actually one of the best 3D models that I could have found uh, for converting a car because it's, it, it's already ready to go to build the rest of the car for you in game. You use a different material for the windows so it looks really nice. Put your own wheels in there. Excellent stuff. Uh, so anyway, you just go ahead and delete the extra stuff that you don't need. Uh, we're going to reorient our model to make sure it's the correct way. And again, same thing as before, we're just gonna sort of scale it up until the smallest edge is about one grid size in this modeling program. Yeah, something something like uh, something like this. So we're gonna get we're gonna try to get this car as small as possible to like a realistic size as possible in game. Uh, and I think, as far as I know, there doesn't seem to be any faces with more than four edges. So this model, as far as I know, should be good to go. Should be good to go. So let's go ahead and export this 3D model. Again, make sure to swap the Y and Z axis because Z is the up direction in main assembly and Y is the forward axis. And here it is. So drag and drop the fiat.obj into the tool or you can just, you know, browse to open it. Uh, I'm, again, I'm gonna leave the scale at default 10. Uh, fiats are red usually, right? Usually some red color. I, I, I don't know if they are. <laughs> Let's just go with that color palette, do the thing, and then of course, uh, do this process. Copy any bot folder, paste, rename it, Fiat OBJ. Make sure the schematic file is named the exact same name. They have to be the same name. Copy the schematic code, paste it into the schematic file, Make sure it's saved. Already, just like that, you're good to go in game. You don't have to reload the game at all. Uh, look for your bots, go into your folder, fiat.obj, bam. Look at that, look at that. You have a car already built for you. Oh yeah, this is kind of a big car. I mean, you, you, can, you can race it around on some tracks, but it's a, still a little bit too big. Uh, how small are we gonna get it? Let's see, let's just go ahead and try to get it really, really small. So we're gonna go back to this tool. It's gonna refresh, do it all from the start. Load in the Fiat. Let's do two times smaller. It's gonna be one fifth the size. And we're gonna, we're not gonna round any vertices. Of course, choose that Fiat reddish color. Do the thing. There's our schematic file. And let's go ahead and update our schematic file in game. Uh, get out of this So that's the old fiat. Let's go close. Let's go next to this one do a size comparison. Heck. Yeah, dude heck. Yeah <laughs> Heck yeah, oh yeah, I got myself a fiat. There you go. That's almost that, that's almost a correct size Maybe if I scaled it uh, instead of one-fifth the size if I did one-fourth the size it would actually work But uh, hey look at that look at that Oops. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage on the car frame. Oh, that's cool. That's cool to see. Wee. <laughs> Let me tell you, when, once you spend the time to like really make a 3D model pop in this game, uh, it's well worth it. It's well, well worth it. This thing is so much fun to drive, race around with your friends. You can create some amazing looking stuff. Okay, and one more conversion just because I can. I'm gonna convert this cat into a schematic for main assembly. This one's pretty easy, pretty easy to work with. Cat.obj load. Bam, it's a big boy. <laughs> it's a big boy. Oh man, it's, it's much bigger than I thought it was. Aw, oh, now I kinda wanna put the monkey face on this cat body. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys for today. Uh, it's been a while since I played some main assembly, so I actually have no idea what's new in the game. Uh, this was just an old tool that I made, and now that I have a website, I figured I might as well, you know, release it for everyone to enjoy. 
So if you actually did like it and you want me to maybe improve on it and update it as time goes on, uh, make sure you hit the like button on this video, I guess. You know, the more, the more likes this video gets, the more I'll update that tool. Something like that. There's gonna be a link in the description down below for you guys to use the tool. And I'm also gonna leave a link to a few example 3D models for you guys to work with. If you guys convert any cool stuff, definitely share them with me in my Discord. Share this video with your main assembly friends, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye! Kitty! Pet me, father.